Physiotherapy in primary care is a diverse, dynamic and innovating area of practice with a patient-centred and community-orientated approach to healthcare. Primary care physiotherapists are often considered specialist versatilists. Physiotherapists are autonomous practitioners who are able to screen, diagnose and provide appropriate treatment or referral for musculoskeletal, neurological, cardiorespiratory, paediatric and many other conditions. The scope and range of where physiotherapists might work in primary care is huge. Significant research has shown the effectiveness of physiotherapist management within orthopaedic clinics, leading to greater patient satisfaction and a greater intention to follow advice and instructions for self-management. The model of physiotherapist-led orthopaedic clinics, which include physiotherapists with additional prescribing and injection training, is safe, effective and can be delivered in primary care settings. There are numerous studies into the effectiveness of physiotherapist caseload management in emergency departments, resulting in referral to primary care services without the need for admission to an acute hospital. And managing long-term condition studies show that primary care physiotherapy provides an opportunity to shape patient-centred and quality care on the most appropriate level with associated health and economic benefits. These include managing falls in the frail population, exercise prescription for those living with cancer, pulmonary rehabilitation classes for COPD, and working with children with gait abnormalities. And this is just a snapshot of the range of physiotherapy in primary care. The European Region of World Physiotherapy has a position paper on physiotherapy in primary care. It is currently quite a lengthy document as it needs to contain all the relevant information, but it is easily becomes out of date due to innovations in practice. The process for updating means that we need to contact the physiotherapy member organisations to find out what is current practice in their country and then collate that information. This time we've decided to shorten the paper to keep the statement high level but to use links in it to get the most current information. We will include links to the member organisation websites. These will be kept up to date and change when there is a development in specific countries. It also means we can create links of a variety of examples of physiotherapy in primary care. For those countries who are starting out working in primary care, they can access information from countries who are a bit further along the journey. Whereas for those countries who are looking to be at the forefront of development, there'll be links to countries with advanced primary care practice. In this, we can all learn from each other and continue to progress physiotherapy in primary care.